Okay, we're back in the 2020 Winnebago Revel, going over the onboard heating systems. The van comes equipped with two types of systems. You have a diesel-fired furnace and a electric heating element. They both do the same job of giving you hot cabin air, hot water, and keep the fresh water tank from freezing. So starting with the diesel system, we have the primary battery switch on by the door. System on, furnace on, and we're gonna set our fan to low. It's been recommended to run these systems harder. Keeps them from experiencing the malfunctions that are kind of common, which is like clog filters and things like that. So to change your set point, we're gonna hold the button for three seconds and down at the bottom, we can see our set point I keep it set at 90 when I'm using the diesel system. You can hear the furnace clicking on now. It'll light and we'll go around the side of the van and show you the exhaust side. Coming around the side of the van, you can hear the diesel furnace has already lit and is running. The exhaust exits here just below the driver door. Um, Speaking of malfunctions, you might experience a uh, clogged atomizer will give you a bunch of white spoke coming out of the exhaust, so that's something to keep an eye out for. Let's go back inside. Back at the control panel, I'm going to switch our fan speed to setting 2, which is high. And you'll see we get a nice flow of hot air down here below the dinette seating and in the rear bedroom on this wall here. So, keeps the bedroom nice and warm, keeps the front of the van nice and warm. I'm gonna let this run for a little bit and we'll see what kind of temps we can build. It's currently 69 outside. Again, our set point is at 90 to keep the furnace working nice and hard. Okay, it's been about 90 seconds. We are already building some heat, so I'm going to turn fan speed down to low. It's been my experience that when you're running it with the fan on high, the furnace will cycle between high speed and low speed frequently, which is annoying but can also cause potential issues with the furnace. So once you've got it lit, it's running, and you're building some heat in the van, I recommend setting it on low and just letting it run throughout the night. Some things to keep in mind with the diesel system is that it is the primary heating system. It is the system you're going to want to use if you don't have access to shore power, so primitive camping or boondocking or anything of the sort. You do still have to keep an eye on your battery as it does draw 12 volts. It also gets its diesel fuel from the vehicle's fuel tank and it has an automatic shutoff at a quarter tank. So if you plan on camping and running the heat for a while, I recommend at least a half tank when you stop for camping. This will give you plenty of range to run the heater and still have a quarter tank for driving range on your way out. All right, now we're gonna shut down the diesel system and fire up the electric heating system. So the best way to do that is back here, furnace off, system off, Everything's shut down now. Let's start up the electric system. You come back to the same board, system on. I leave furnace off, fan speed is still on low. Come over here to this switch. It says water heater, but it is essentially the electric heating element. We're gonna turn that on. And over here we have hot water. This is hot water whether you're using both systems. So if you have the diesel system running, you want hot water, you flip this on. If you're running the electrical system, same thing, flip this switch on. It does have a tendency to stay lit even if the switch is off. It's common, don't worry about it. The other use of the electrical system is to keep the van warm enough uh, from freezing up. So you can set the set point at about 50 degrees, it'll keep the interior of the van warm enough and keep the 
glycol coolant loops that wrap around the freshwater tank warm and that'll keep the water from freezing. So we're gonna drop our set point down from 90 to approximately 50, 52. And that should do it. Uh, when running this system, it does draw quite a bit of power. So I do recommend using this system when you have shore power. That way you don't have to run the diesel system. All right, so a quick recap of everything. There's two systems, diesel and electric. The diesel system is a larger system. It's gonna be the system you're gonna run when you have no shore power. It shares its fuel tank with the vehicle, cuts off at a quarter tank, so make sure you have plenty of fuel. The electric system is recommended for when you have shore power. They both share the same control panel. You're both gonna use the same system on button. Furnace is in reference to diesel furnace. Water heater over here is in reference to the electric heating element. Both systems use the same hot water on switch and the same fan speed switch and the same thermostat. You're gonna to want to set the set point to 90 when you're using the diesel furnace and just regulate the temperatures with windows and fans. You're gonna to wanna to set it to anywhere between 50 and 60 when using the electric system. And it's mainly for hot water and keeping the tanks from freezing up. All right, so that's a pretty quick run through of how to use the onboard heating systems for a 2020 Winnebago Revel. I hope that helps you guys out. Please comment if you guys have any questions.